God's word, faithfully preached, is his comprehensive equipment for changing lives, delivering them from the shackles of sin, the flesh, and the world, and transforming them into useful vessels through whom Jesus can pour out his blessings. Living Seed invites you to a feast of the truth as God's servant brings to us the word of life. Let's pray together. Our Father, we have come to this point and we are coming to it with great soberness in our heart. We have sat here with you for these days and in your mercy through your several servants you brought your heart desire to us. And we have come to this point where we have to go back from this mountain into our places of divine posting and assignment. Holy Spirit, even tonight we cannot but ask you to help us to watch and pray. We cannot go in the strength of our self-determination. We are standing before you tonight together. Release us with your power. There is no gun that can shoot himself by itself. We ask you, Father, tonight, shoot us out in the name of Jesus Christ. You have led us and brought us by mercy into the places of leadership where we stand. It is clear to us that it is not because we are the best among all men. We know it is your mercy. Lord, responding to the responsibility of providing spiritual oversight, tonight we stretch forth our hands. Put something in our hands. Release us, Lord, with your grace and power. Lord, set us in motion. Your church will not suffer damage under our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, as we go from this point, we ask, Lord, that your purpose will prosper in our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. As we fellowship with one another, as we ate at dining with one another, as we sat in Bible studies in various groups together, as we interacted, it's clear to us that we are men and women of common destiny. We stand shoulder to shoulder tonight. Because of your purpose in Nigeria and in the nations. Set us in motion in the name of Jesus Christ. Send us forth by your mighty power. Holy Spirit, even for this final charge, we are asking Lord, charge us. Charge us by your spirit. The things we have decided that we are going to do. Enable us, Lord, to carry them out according to your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Please be seated as we take this brief and final charge as we commend ourselves to the Lord. I'll read a couple of scriptures just to conclude that as we go from here, 
God is asking you, go and exercise spiritual oversight over the which flock God in mercy has put you an overseer. As I read the passages that we have been reading before, with or without any much comment, I trust that the Spirit of God will be sending you forth in his power. He will be sending you forth by his grace. And he will be releasing you into these duties unto which he has called you. He promised that I will not leave you nor forsake you. In Act 2028, 20, which we have studied, which several of God's servants had referred to, and they have drawn issues for us to chew and to think about, again under God tonight, I wish to charge you in the presence of the Lord our God. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. Watch over your personal affairs. Take heed unto your inner life. You cannot watch over other lives when your own are scattered. The local proverbs of our father says, if fire falls on you and falls on your child, which one will you deal with first? It is biblical that it is only as you continue to stand and stand right that our oversight will be meaningful. Even as we rise from this meeting tonight, Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers. Never you forget that your appointment is not by man, is not of men. Even though God may have used men either in our methods of election or selection, may have uh, done all the human things that could be done. But may I remind you, as the Lord had told us before, your appointment is not of men, is not by man, and is not for men. It's God Himself. Who has personally made you overseers over the church which he has purchased with his own blood. While you interact and provide oversight over the flock, never you forget that the owner is very keen. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He watches over these people and he will surely bring us to record on what we do with his flock. And in 1 Timothy chapter 4, in the same direction, Paul brought a charge unto Timothy. And he said, and I want to read it from verse 14. Again, I want you to bear this as you go. Neglect not the gift that is in you. In the course of this meeting, we noted that you can only provide spiritual oversight in the context of your own experience in the context of the ministry which you exercise, I hereby again ask as apex leaders, neglect not the gift 
that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy. God endowed you because he never brings any man to leadership without giving him what he needed to provide that oversight. None of us has God crippled or has God denied of what it takes to do well. If you look deeply into your spirit, you will know that there is something in your hand with which to carry out this assignment. I hereby charge you before the Lord, do not neglect the gift of God that is in you. It is that endowment that God is placing in your hand to be able to provide oversight for the people under your hand. Meditate, reflect, think as the servant of God dealing with the matter of of, of training, ministerial training brought to us that God has joined together the matter of meditation, thinking along with receiving insight and revelation as APS leaders as you go God has raised so many issues among us God has pointed at different matters that we must not overlook. I hereby charge you again tonight, meditate upon these things. Give yourself only, completely to them, so that your profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto yourself, and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this. Thou shalt both save yourself. And them that hear you. And in the same context. Paul brought a charge. Unto men that he has released to be any oversight over the church at Crete. He was writing to Titus. And I want you to look at what he said to Titus in Titus chapter 2. It was a church he was putting upon him and he said, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. God has placed you as the custodians of the doctrine, as the custodians of the truth. You are the one that God has put to bear the custody of the oracles. Speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. And finally, I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will stand, I mean, who shall judge the quick, the living, and the dead at his appearance and in his kingdom preach the word. Preach the word. God's comprehensive equipment for changing men is still the gospel. Ceremonies, organizational programs, promotional items, as good as they are, and sometimes they are necessary just to gather things. But I would like to say to you that none of it has capacity to grow the church. God's implement comprehensive equipment 
for growing his people and for thoroughly furnishing his men for every good work is the word of God. The word of God that is uneditable. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. I charge you therefore before the Lord, preach the word as you are going back. Renew your zeal to preach and teach the word of God. Be instant in season and out of season. Why the days are still quiet before us? Why we still have liberty of gathering together like this? Even though we have come under serious pressure, so much insecurity has come around several of our churches. <clears throat> Yet, God is still giving us space. Preach the word. Whether it is convenient or not convenient, that is one thing that you must not omit in your spiritual oversight. Whether you go for burial or you go for marriage, preach the word. For every administrative meeting, when you gather your councils together, no matter what is the agenda and the number of items on the agenda, set the priority, preach the word. When you preach and teach the word of God, you are giving God space to create and recreate his purpose in the lives of men. Jesus said, the seed is the word. Everywhere you want to see the kingdom of God grow and grow well, the seed of the kingdom is the word of God. Administrative meeting is great. But all of that, as far as I understand, they are the wineskins. They are the bottles that we use to package the wine. But what is the use of empty bottles when the wine is finished? I charge you because God is putting an oversight, a responsibility on you for which me and you were going to give account. Preach the word. Be instant in season. The word instant means be ready. Be alert. Be very, very, very vigilant to catch every opportunity to teach and preach the word. I want to charge you, don't let your official position remain official. Convert it unto ministry. Don't allow the title of the office as the archbishop mentioned to us in the morning that the title might give us an officiality but it may not give us oversight what gives you oversight is the ministry of the word of God I charge you before the Lord before whom we shall all give account, preach the word. Be instant in season and even when it is not convenient. Reproof and at your height, fear no man. If at your height you cannot stand and reprove men who will do it. 
if with God's grace and authority upon your life, you compromise with compromisers and sinners, who, who do you think under your hand will be able to do it and they will not be regarded as rebellious? It has fallen on your path to reprove, to rebuke, to exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. We have emphasized this over and over, and I still sense that God has given us great opportunity, He has given us great space. And he has given us quiet days. It is not so that we can be complacent going on with our duties as usual. There were opportunities to prepare the church for the coming days. As the Lord brought us church this afternoon. As administrators and policy makers... Do not, do not undermine the training institutions where we are reproducing and nurturing the future of the denominations over the which God has placed you. Be careful not to send dropouts, disgruntled men and women, those who are simply looking for a job, be careful not to send them or post them, for they are going to deform. They are supposed to be people who will facilitate formation. But when you send a man who is deformed, he can only bring deformity unto the lives coming. The Lord will give you grace and wisdom to do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me remind you that you don't have forever to do what God has called you to do. For the time will come when men will not be able to endure sound doctrine. And all of you can know now that that time is already here. You will remember now that we are now having men with itching ears. He said, but after their own loss, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and they shall be turned unto fables but we have opportunity to exercise spiritual oversight as you go I plead with you I plead with you by the mercies of God Preach the word. I plead with you. Watch thou in all things. Endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. And finally. Finally. The church that was sent to Archippus and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord. See that you fulfill it. Say to Archippus, we have spoken earlier, take it to yourself, take it to the flock. Now the Holy Spirit is saying, take heed to the ministry. Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord. Make sure you fulfill it. Whether God has given you 
space to be among the theological educators. Take heed to that ministry and make sure you fulfill it. As God has brought you unto leadership and he has given you a vision of what he wanted the denomination to get into under your hand, take heed to it. Make sure that you fulfill it. Why do I need to finish this charge like this? Every generation, God carries out his purposes through men whom he has ordained and placed in position. Everywhere the purpose of God had achieved and prospered, it is because the men he put in position they dedicatedly pursue what he told them to do. The church does not have any other leadership apart from you. The denomination presently has no other leadership. And I want to remind you that when you stood up and said, this is where this church is going, they have not argued with you. They are following if you don't lead them to the promised land, it will not be their fault. It will be that you did not see to it that the ministry you have received in the Lord, you have fulfilled it. As we conclude in prayer, as we conclude before the Lord tonight, don't forget that you will be given account of your stewardship. My prayer is that when the Lord, the chief shepherd, will come, may we never miss the crown. When he will appear, may you receive a crown of glory that never fades away. May the Spirit of God, who has begun a good work in us, may he accomplish it to the praise and glory of his name. And when the Lord will have finished his work that he is doing in our lives, and when the role will be called up yonder, may you be among the overcomers. I would like you to rise up and in few minutes make a final commitment to the Lord. But those who hear and obey they are the ones that the Father will place his blessing upon. Will you make a final commitment to God tonight? Lord, where you have placed me I will not fail you. The load you have placed on my shoulders, I will not betray my trust. A charge to keep I have. I have a God to glorify. And I have a never dying soul to say, I'm fitted for the sky. To serve this present age, my calling to fulfill. Oh, may it all my power engage to do my master's will. Please lift up your hands and talk to God. Make a final commitment again. That coming to Boko this year, you are going with faces shining. You are going with sharpened, sharpened swords. You are going with sharper focus, singleness of eyes. That as the Lord lives, His church will advance under your leadership. The DCC, the RCC, the Archdeaconry, the Circuit.
the diocese, the conferences, the associations, all those places where God has given you opportunity, his purpose will not fail. His will must prosper. To serve this present age, my calling to fulfill. Oh, may it all my power engage to do my master's will. Make that final commitment and say, Lord, as I go tonight, I go to serve your purpose. I will fulfill my call. Those other people say, if I die, I die. If I perish, I perish. Paul said, my life is not dear to me. I must fulfill, I must fulfill my call. Brothers, sisters, lift up your heart and say, Lord, my powers must be engaged in fulfilling this call to which you have given me. Lord, arm me with jealous care to live as in thy sight. And Lord, prepare your servant a strict account to give. Help me, Lord, to watch and pray. And on thyself to rely. Assure that if, if my trust I should betray, I shall forever die. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Help my heart. This ministry, I must fulfill it. Lord, I want to fulfill it. This church must move forward under my hand. This denomination must forge ahead under my tenure. Lika Taura Masandere Boshibaba. Holy Spirit, it has come to this point where we must move and rise. Set us, O oh Lord, in motion. Set our heart ablaze. Propel us. Send us forth, O oh God. Father, you cannot call us here. And cripple our womb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you tonight, Lord. Will you join me again as we take that our song, a charge to keep I have, a God to glorify. He never died so to say. And fit it for the sky. Arm me with jealous care. As in your sight to live. And oh, thy servant, O oh Lord, prepare. Because I will be giving a strict account. If you will take the song with one hand and your second hand, you will lift it to heaven. As we pray together with that song, a charge to keep I have. A God to glorify. He never died so to say and fit it for the sky. Let's go. A charge to keep I have. A God to glorify. Glorify, I never die. Is so to say, and feel it for the sky to send the present age. My calling to fulfill, who oh, made it all, my power engage, my master.
masters we do again to send the present age my calling oh lord jesus oh god amen it all my power engage my master's will and me lord and me oh lord oh lord and all thy servant lord prepare straight I can't to give and finally Lord help me to watch and pray oh Lord I sure if I my trust betray I shall uh, brethren I will implore that we kneel down before the Lord The Holy One of Israel, the Lord is your name. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Father and Friend. God, we thank you this evening. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Because from whatever backgrounds, Almighty God, you saved us. And you by yourself, you called us from amongst the saved. And you appointed us to where we are now. And Father, by your divine providence, you have guided our feet to come to this place for retreat. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. And that we have gathered at your feet, Lord, you have not left us empty. You have spoken your word. And you give your word and many are the company of the preachers. You give your word and your word gives life. You give your word and your word is the bread of life. Lord, by that same promise, bring it to pass in our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us receive freshness of life now. For God, we have come and we are going. We did not go anywhere. We came here to meet with you. Lord, may we not go empty-handed. As we have prayed, so we ask that you will answer our prayers. You are the one who said, come and I will make you fishers of men. God, you are the one who makes. And at this retreat, you have laid it upon our hearts powerfully that we are to be overseers who will have oversight functions god please make us overseers lord make us overseers jehovah make us overseers have mercy to make us overseers where we have forgotten where we have pursued other things have mercy upon us forgive us but today now make us overseers Lord, let us see what men do not see. Let us pursue what the world is not pursuing. Let us pursue the kingdom of God. Let us pursue righteousness. Let us pursue salvation for people. 
Let us pursue blessings of our people. Let us pursue the righteousness of God upon the land. Let us pursue bringing people to know Jesus. Let us pursue disciple making. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we beg you. Make us overseers. Make us fishers of men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Answer our prayers. This is the cry of our hearts, O God. Let the Holy Ghost fall fresh upon us right now. That we may leave this place now into action. The word which we have heard this day with our outward ears. Let them be grafted by the Holy Ghost. Inwardly in our hearts. To produce fruits of good living. To produce fruits of the Holy Ghost. To bring glory to the Lord. To seek glory to the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now raise your hands and say this prayer with me. After me. Oh God. I commit myself. To keep this charge. This day. To glorify you. To seek your kingdom. And your righteousness. This is my dedication. I will look to nothing else. I will look to Jesus. Answer me. In Jesus name we pray. Now unto God's gracious mercy and protection. We commit each one of you. May the Lord bless you. And may he keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and show you mercy. Your families, your ministry, your work, and all that concerns you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest and be upon you to encourage you, to strengthen you, to keep you, to give you victory, to give you success, to make you fishers of men and overseers in the kingdom of God, both now and forever and ever. This has been Living Seed. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 703 Zero three six three six five nine zero seven zero three seven six eight one one nine eight. Female address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. <laughs>